Hey guys, this is Jerick there, Dragon from Red Dragon Airsoft. I'm um, just showing you some of the cool things I got just to uh, keep the subscri subscribers amused. Um, people are messaging me. I probably kept, should have appeared offline. Um, just a few things I got in my room. Uh, first off, Switchfoot is awesomeness. Anyway, Switchfoot's my favorite band, but that was completely unrelated. I just saw the poster and was like, I should mention that. Anyway, this is some of the stuff I wanted to show off. A lot of the stuff I've gotten from other people. Um, my girlfriend, Heather Gordon, gave me this video. This video, huh? This, um, it's actually a letter opener. Exact, exact replica of Napoleon's sword. Um, she got me this when she was in France. So, I appreciate it and I love this thing. It came in this box. Tiny black box. Um, this ninja star right here, believe it or not, I found it in my last school's parking lot. Almost in perfect condition, too. Um, looks really... That was someone signing in and out. Anyway, uh, almost in perfect condition, lots of detail. Got a cool... Got Chinese letters on it and a cool little dragon feature. Can't really get it with the camera, but it looks really nice. Um, these steel knuckles my friend Griffin gave to me. Uh, these are Chinese made. They are stainless steel. They're not brass, so they're steel knuckles. Um, I have lots of these laying around because I take martial arts. It's known as goo tag. But, you know, my friend gave me this one, so it means a little bit more. Um, uh, my friend Duncan gave me this one. Empty shell casing. I mean, it's just a little keychain thing. Um, I have plenty of the real ones laying around, but, you know, my friend gave it to me, so it means a bit more. It means a little mo more than something like this, which is just a standard 40 cal bullet. Now on to the stuff you were probably expecting, the, uh, dragons. Uh, Griffin gave me this one. He gives me, he comes over a lot. Good friend of mine. He's awesome. Lots of detail on this. Alright. Now this one I actually got in London. I was over there for about a month. Got it there can't remember how many pounds it cost me. By the way, I hate their currency. I went to about the only country where their currency is worth like twice as, <laughs> a little over twice as much as ours. Go figure. Stupid pounds. Anyway, they got cool dragon stuff though. <laughs> lots and lots of detail. The red eyes is a cool feature they added in. Supposedly breathing fire. Not sure at what, but he's breathing fire. Here's another one I got in London. This one's probably my favorite one out of the ones I got in London and out of the smaller ones. Um, just this, not a really original design, just a dragon around a sword. However, it never ceases to be cool. <laughs> Little kind of red gem going on there. Green dragon around a sword. Lots of details. Now I got a few other small ones. It makes me angry. This one, I got this one in Las Vegas. Tiny little one. Marissa gave it to me, a good friend of mine. But I broke off the wing, and it's really irritating. Cause I like this thing. It's really cool looking. I mean, just for being so small, it has a looks really nice. The let's see, there's the wing. Just went right on the back right there. Broke it off. Disappointing. Um, here's something else that Marissa got me. If you can really count this as a dragon. Um, she got me this in Mexico. 
So with the wood, it's kind of a little bobblehead thing. <laughs> Makes me laugh. This thing's cool. But this thing is made in Mexico. All wood. People need to stop messing with me. <laughs> See. But, um... Good paint job. But, friend gave it to me when she went to Mexico. Alright, now here is my favorite one out of all. It's normally in this box. Pretty big, but it is actually not in the box. It is somewhere where I can't move the box to show you. <laughs> it is behind the box. This thing's about the biggest one I have. Uh, that probably won't last very long. Um, <laughs> it's not that small. There's a lot of detail on this. I got this from Gifts from Afar in the Clackamas Town Center. There's also one in the Lloyd Center. Um, I am in Portland, Oregon. If you ever stop by Portland, Oregon, make sh make sure to go to those places. Those places are awesome shops. You won't be wasting your time. Um, great feeling inside of that place. It's got a nice culture to it. It's just, you'll feel good in there. <laughs> and it's got a lot of cool stuff from all over the place. Alright, well that said, let's keep on going. There's um, probably the most detail out of any of the ones I own. It's on this right here. And forgive the poor lighting. It's, I'm in a small room with standard lights. Parts of this are made of marble. Some of it's made out of plastic. Most of it's made out of marble, though. Feels good. I got it on sale for $60. Originally it was $85. It's made in China, but it looks really awesome. And if anyone knows, China doesn't always mean bad. If you're, especially if you're in the airsoft community, China doesn't always mean bad. <laughs> Um, I think water is supposed to go in here, and somehow it's supposed to get steam to come out of it. There's no way to plug it in. There's no way for that, so I don't even suggest that. If anyone knows, tell me. Uh, my only thought now is just water with dry ice, because um, this hole's there. This is supposed to be spinning with steam coming out of it. So I'm thinking you're supposed to put water in here, put some dry ice in it. Tell me another way if you have it. If you don't then um, I'm not sure but I think it's something supposed to it doesn't tell me and there's no way to plug it in so I'm, I really don't know anyway this is just kind of a video to keep the subscribers um, amused I mean I love you guys you guys are awesome uh, you guys are making me what I am and I'll continue to do this I like doing things like this anyway um, I think that's pretty much everything the end of my video just kind of showing some stuff to you guys. Um, plan on there being more. <laughs> that's all I have to say. Anyway, I think that's the end of the video.